Well, well, well. Look who's back. Yeah. We're still gonna dive into the world of YouTube without any thumbnails. Because I don't give a damn. You know what I do give a damn about? You hitting that motherfucking button. Push the button. I swear to God, if you don't hit that button, I swear to God. Hit the button! Oh my god. <laughs> You're around the pool, you find no one's in it. The two of you seem to have it all to yourselves. Why is the water in this pool always a little warm? <laughs> or laughs. Yikes. I have no idea. <laughs> now, do you know why I chose this spot for us? It's another test. Okay. You test me to see if I pretend to be happy while sitting in a pool used by Cretans. Why would I do that to you? Maybe. If I didn't know that by now, I'd already be dead. Yeah, you're right. No, seriously. I've been trying to find a reason to kill you for two days. You keep managing to avoid your own annihilation and having to start this whole ridiculous thing over. Great job staying clear of that fate so far. Actually, I brought you to this pool for two reasons. The first is to ask you something important. Would you like to spend an unforgettable night with me? Oh, I don't know! <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll have to see where things go. Hopefully they keep pointing up. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Doesn't matter anyway. We can't, I mean, good. I know we could. We're not allowed to, yet. I can't tell you why either. You get what I'm saying? I understand. <laughs> Say no more, I get it. So, I will bid you a good night. Trapper leaves the pool with a big smile after the water inexplicably gets warm again. Ew. Hey, wait a second, Trapper. You never told me the second reason you brought me to this pool. Oh, yeah. The chlorine is good for. It's great for washing off blood, especially in those hard to reach places. Ew. You know how it is. Ew. FYI, if you do know how it is, you should keep it to yourself. Damn it. I see those dweebs. Doug and Claudia waving at us. I think we need to head over to the volleyball court. He's right. Try off and go to the volleyball court. And later, you're really going to want to scrub your own hard surface places with actual soap. Chlorine is no match for whatever trapper gets up in these pools. Ew. Ew. Gross. Gross. <laughs> the gang's all together again on the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. Yeah. That's because it was. Oi, feels like I've been here a lot longer than that, actually. Oi. Oi. Oh. Oi. That's because it was. Oi. Well, no, no, because a British people says oi, too. That, yeah. It's so late that the sun is already beginning to rise. Better get this over with quickly so that I, I mean you, can get some beauty rest. I do not recommend the internal damnation of perpetual narratordom. Good thing you've really used your time well since then. Really getting to know the gang, the brain, the mogul, the basket case, and the psychotic bunny girl. You know, the four types of people. Anyway, everyone is gathered on the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who Crispy chooses. Australians have an origin of Britain? They do. The British used it as a sort of like a prison for a long time. Who's ready for round robin? How round are we talking? <laughs> no, not to eat, hunters. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you about all. The, uh, sorry, each killer gets two minutes to tell you all about the dream date they have planned for you tomorrow. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention, right? Almost like the order does matter. Spirit, why don't you go first? Get this over with, and then you can go back to reading your book. Stop talking. Hit a spirit. Figuratively, damn it, Dwight! You gotta watch your words with these people. Tomorrow, you'll spit in the face of God, die, and reborn anew. That's it? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with Trapper, or dig up whatever mysterious with, with Wraith. I don't know what those guys do all day. Do you want to at least specify which God you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Okay then, so hide you tonight if you intend to hang with spirit. Great. Huntress, why don't you take it from here? 
tomorrow morning. I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht. And don't worry, Trapper. Won't even know it's gone. What was that? Nothing. Go away. Then, oh boy, oh boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guess you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, primo stuff. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to start prepping. Or, um, I've got to start preparing. Uh, because it's clear already that you're going to pick me. Confident, mysterious, I like it. Sorry. Anyway, Wraith? Well, um... I don't know. I'd really prefer to just tell Crispy privately. Um, I don't really know how it's gonna work with all these game mechanics. <laughs> what if you just whisper it to Crispy? Wraith considered this for a long moment. Too long. That's fine. Without moving, Wraith lowers his voice to a barely audible whisper. Now, I have to find my bell. And then I can finally tell you about what I've been working on. It's gonna be really special. What kind of thing. <laughs> Where we really bond. And maybe finally get off this island. And maybe then we can go on a real date. Oh? Um, you done? Is that it? Wraith nods proud. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> a trapper, without further ado, would you like to make us all uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable, um, not only in polite society, but within the narrative of this in-world event, and also the larger meta-narrative of Dead by Daylight dating <laughs> experience? Sometimes you just gotta say it. <laughs> wow, yes, thank you, I love to. So, Crispy, you're thinking of picking me. Well, this is your final warning. Pick me or be punished. And rewarded? And be punished and rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> Both, yes. Tomorrow will suck, probably. I'm not an easy guy to get along with, I know that. But I can tell you this much. I'm hiding a secret on this island that will make fans shit themselves with excitement. You like Trapper, you're gonna love it. And if you're not a maggot... If not... Oh, and if not, you're a maggot. Also, everyone, even confident, sexy ladies in rabbit masks, better stay the hell away from my yacht. <laughs> and time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about these options so you're ready to choose in the morning. No, go dream about all those swoon-worthy options so you're ready to make some... Make a choice for <laughs> <go> them. <down. laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Well, Matt. Uh, did you two forget to mention something? <laughs> oh gosh, how could we forget? Before you run off to slumber peacefully, there's one more thing to do. No reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without a singling out one of our contestants who's already teetering on the edge of a psychological break. Eh. And giving them a little push. Hold up, this has been a survival dating competition parody this entire time and I'm just not finding out about it? Come on, the signs were there. You just need to read them. Welcome to Murderer's Island! It's now time to eliminate one of the killers. Oof, it's like butchering. But it hurts even worse. You can't kill a killer. But can you break their heart? Do you even dare try? You mean... That's right! Tomorrow one of these sexy slikers, slicers will not be able to take you on a date. Who is this gonna be? But why? Uh, because it's dramatic. Because it's surprising? Because it's a classical reversal of fate? And it will hurt someone's feelings! Someone's dangerous! Who's it gonna be, champ? What's your thought process here? Crapper seems like he might, get a, he might throw to you in your sleeve if you eliminate him. <laughs> that being said, at least you'd see him coming. Spirit could be anywhere. She floats. And I hear she can disappear. Hard to track. If you give it a wraith, he might cry. And although it's always support nobilizing men crying and being vulnerable, it just seems like he might be an ugly crier. Huntress, she might pretend to be okay with it, but then you'll start seeing her behind every tree. What I'm trying to say is, I don't envy you, boss. So which sociopath are we eliminating? But he has, he's trying to get off the island. Yeah, <laughs> but... The true heartbreak would be Trapper. That'd be the uh, real heartbreak. We're gonna pick Trapper. Okay. I feel like him. Okay. Peace out, Wraith. <laughs> Look, I'm here and I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here and I'm horny, and I'm not really getting positive reinforcement from you, Wraithy Poo. 
please don't take this personally. It's just my opinion of you and who you are and what you're about deep down as a person. And I don't <laughs> like it. Like, give me something, you know? A kiss, a wink, hold my hand, finish telling me about all this mysterious stuff you're obsessed with. Or better yet, don't. Wraith rises taller than you've ever seen him. And he calmly walks to the exit. Before he leaves, he turns to you. When you came here, you know, perhaps you'd be different. I don't know how my last bit of hope in humanity hadn't been snuffed out, but it wasn't. It is now. You're just like the rest of them. There is no hope of goodness here. The only thing I can try to do is escape. Or burn everything and everyone into the ground! Oh shit. Pretty badass exit. I was not expecting that. No, you've broken the heart of someone heartless! You should go get some shut eye. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you've left behind. Because of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They might not get get to go home with Crispy when this is all over, but they'll never sleep alone again. That's right. We're sending our eliminated player home with Da 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 a oh. trickster body pillow. <laughs> They're all mostly new trickster body pillow. <laughs> The next best thing to the real trickster. It may not hug you back, but it definitely won't try to stab you. And how do we know? Because we've tried it. That's right. It's Dwight tested. A Claudette approved. I hope you sleep well tonight, Crispy. You're my hero for what you've accomplished. How can you sleep tonight knowing what you've done? No, not because of the guilt. I mean, knowing that there's a legit homicidal maniac who hates you so close by. How can you sleep tonight? Knowing what you'll do tomorrow. I don't know how you'll do it, but you better go before Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep themselves. You know those two. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Wow, what a crazy way to end the day. An elimination? I didn't even know it was that kind of game. Uh, yeah, we think, we think, we think it's the entity. Yeah. We think this narrator is the observer. Or vice versa. Yeah. Actually, we think the ocean is the is the observer. The oh, that's right. Ocean is observer, and then and this guy's this is the entity. Yeah. Well, it could it could be either way, um, just because of things they've said, but also like. Well, no, I think the ocean wants. He says, "Remember why you're here to find out stuff," and and then mm -hmm. the observer is also trying to find out stuff to get out. Right, but the reason why I said it might it might also be the narrator that's the observer is because he he like manifested the coffee tricks or. Or, or demanifested no, it, it away. It, the reason this is the entity is because he said he can end the game and he does. Oh, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's a better. That's yeah. a better. Yeah. Okay. He's like anything I say goes. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, and he and he kind of like created the the dating sim. Yeah. So this is stuff. this is entity. Ocean is observer. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's check in with everyone, especially with our loser. Everyone deserves a send off. We'll see how things go tomorrow. I suppose. I'm not expecting anything. I tend to shut my mind off during hard times. I know I seem all excited and devil may care, but truth <laughs> is, I'm really a pessimist at heart. That tends to happen when... Your mother was cured by an elk when you were young? Yeah, how did you know? Well, I guess, uh, it's also the only thing you talk about. If oh, you they're talking to the entity. Ah, okay, there you go, there you go. If you excuse me... I think I saw a raccoon over in that tree, and I'm feeling peckish. I know I said some things when Crispy kicked me to the curb, but, um... I just want to say, I'm embarrassed for how I acted. Now, what I said, though, I stand by it. I want everyone here to... Burn! How would I say things are going? It's a matter of perspective. If Crispy's goal is to impress me, things are going poorly. But if Crispy's goal was to get themselves killed, then they're doing an amazing job. Did I think there was a chance <laughs> I might get eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? No, not even a little. Does the volume of words I spend talking about how much I don't care about things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those around me? Nah. What? What? You're not part of this. You don't get a confessional. It's cool, man. I'm not a part of anything, you feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. This whole thing is pretty cute, though. Charmingly low budget, old school marketing vibes. Not gonna lie, kinda wish I wasn't so busy right now. 
I'd definitely be down with a reality show style dating competition with survival elements. But I got my new album upcoming tour, finalizing the new sneaker line, producing a limited series of my life, starting a new social media NFT crypto app, and doing these private gigs over on IP Island. My dudes, you gotta come check it out. IP Island, it's dope. It's where the real killers are hanging out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers, take a hike. I'm gonna tell everyone that Trickster said that about them, don't worry. I'm talking to your favorite established characters from all over pop culture that can't be seen on this island. Hell, you probably can't even mention them. Like, Ghostfit, don't say it. Look, we get it. They're very popular and in demand, but we have a game to get back to, and I don't want to get us sued. Ghostfaced, come on! <laughs> Whatever, I don't even care. I'm the trickster. See you around, Crispy. You too, narrator. Uh, I have a name, you know. You do? Yes, seriously. I don't pay me enough to deal with you people. Is it my turn? No, what? No, you don't get a turn. You're sentient water. How are you even sitting in that chair? What? What's a chair? <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing you're getting all wet. Uh, now it's going to smell like mildew. Okay, rude. <laughs> Fine. Let's just get it over with. It's going to turn ocean. You're checking. Checking. I was just looking for the bathroom. Bathroom, are you serious? It's down the hall to the left. It's okay. Never mind. Gross. Never mind. What does that mean? <laughs> no, not you too. This wasn't meant to be a confessional time for literally every character in this game. It's okay. We don't have to confess anything. We've just been working our asses off for two days straight and wanted to sit down somewhere. This chair is wet. Yeah, I think the ocean just peed on it. How is that po You know what? I don't care. You two are looking pretty pleased with yourselves. I've got something to confess. Oh great, what's that going to be? You ate glue in your in the second grade? You cheated on an algebra test once? Oh shit. Watching Wraith get eliminated was the first time in this unending spiral staircase of pain that is that is my life that I felt an even modicum of joy. Every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare. This place, this sun, these sweat, these sweet sugary drinks. Sounds fun for a long weekend. But for an eternity, the unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves and wailing seagulls, it's like a crescendoing song of evil that makes me question the very foundation of the universe. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? What kind of sentient being would do this? Please erase me from existence. Make it so I was never born. Pull the plug in this experiment and let my soul be free. And please, please get me out of this polo shirt. Okay, let's get you to bed, buddy. I don't want to go to bed. Going to bed means eventually I'll have to wake up. Yikes. Uh, that's a weird <laughs> way to end. Ah, uh, well. What are you going to do? You let the camera roll long enough, someone's about to say something crazy. Ooh, two days in paradise. Seems like everyone's had their shot to annoy me tonight, so hit the hay and get some rest tomorrow. It's going to be a doozy. Soft sunlight warms your skin, nudging you awake. Also, you're using a killer crab as a pillow. Which is sort of, which it's sort of okay with. What's that? You don't know about killer crabs? Oh right, you didn't go on that hunter's date. You really missed out. It was thrilling, or I guess it would have been. You have to play the game again to get the reference, I suppose. You pull on your beach attire and splash water in your face. Dwayne Clyde had approached. Is that look on their faces excitement, terror? You notice your stomach flutters with butterflies. Someone's in love. Or you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. <laughs> it's happened before. That's probably the love thing. It's time! Claudette just is over the beach where the killers all stand flanked by tiki torches. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate watching your ass. <laughs> Survivor. <laughs> Suddenly, the message is clear. You're going to declare your affections for a killer in front of several other killers. Hey! Isn't Trixia supposed to be here? Paid him good money to make some half-assed cameos in this show. I'm gonna chew his age now. But before they walk over for you for your big moment... A little birdie told us someone in particular has an extra strong crush on you! And another little birdie reminded us that you've been kind of a dick since you got here and we reserve the right to withhold that information even if it leads you to making terrible decisions that gets you murdered. So are you ready? Of course you're not. But too bad, we're on a schedule. <laughs> 
You make your way over to the row of hotties. Claudette and Dwight stand off to the side, hands behind their back. It's been quite the 48 hours, and there are clearly sparks in the air. And I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for our newcomer to confess their love. Wait! I have to do the drum roll for this! No, you don't. But who cares? Crispy, who do you choose to be for your solo date? Can we at least do the flower thing? Dwight, I thought we agreed to keep that between us. No, not that flower thing. <laughs> the thing where the suitor gets a flower as a symbol of the contestant's love and affection. Oh, right. Right. I suppose, but no roses. They're such a cliche at this point. Well, that's good. Because I tried to pick a rose, but I got an ouchie, so I settled for these. Ah, <laughs> beautiful. You've done good, Dwight. This is a lovely bouquet. I hope Dwight saves some of these for Claudette. They're a thing, right? Are you going to have vibe too? Just me? Sorry, sorry. You've got <laughs> things to think about right now. Crispy, who do you select to receive your flower to receive these flowers and spend the day with you today? Step past all the much kinder and more thoughtful characters, <laughs> and for reasons I suppose I may never understand, approach Trapper. Trapper, you've snared my heart. Oh god. Trapper lets out an audible groan. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one here who I'd rather spend the day with than you. Can't say I blame you. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. To this island, maybe the world. <laughs> I'm going to show you a day you'll never forget and likely never recover from either. With charm like that, how could anyone resist? <laughs> you walk the Trapper's Cave with him. There's nothing I value more than loyalty. It's a rare quality in a person, maybe the rarest, but you are a truly loyal person. To reward your loyalty, I'm going to tell you something I wouldn't tell anyone else. If I offer you the chance to hurt somebody today, be very careful who you agree to hurt and who you don't. Everything depends on that. Also, I'm going to spare you the indignity of playing a stupid game, talking about our feelings, or accidentally getting yourself killed. Loyalty deserves that much. We've already had a chance to get to know one another a little bit. I think we have some work left to do today. So I'm going to ask you an important question. Then I'm going to let you ask me one. What is it you most desire from this island? Mm. It's got to be this. Yeah. I want to stand above, nay, on top of everyone else. Noted. Okay, now you can ask me one thing. What do you want to know? What he wants in a partner, if he's hooked up with any other killers, learn about his family. Mm. What he wants in a partner? I kind of want to know more about his family, but what he wants in a partner feels like the right. What are you looking for from a significant other? A partner in crime, and maybe a business partner as well. Which will also include a lot of crime. Excuse us, sir. We haven't said here to remind you about the thing. You can't go to your special place until you handle it. You know, the thing that, that you've already been spoken to about. Aw, oh, shit. The thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll do the thing. Look, Crispy, I got in a little bit of trouble. Apparently, spending time with me isn't fun. Uh, as though any of this is supposed to be fun. You're on Murderer Island. Why would it be fun? Why would that be fun? <laughs> but for reasons I can't begin to comprehend, apparently the other killers let their dates actually have some kind of juvenile wheel spinning playtime. So I'm supposed to do the same thing. You ask me, it's total bullshit from a power hungry boss who can't get off his own weight. But nothing I can do. So you're going to play a little game. Around this island, there are some hidden bear traps. A lot of hidden bear traps, actually. Uh, some would say too many bear traps. Though some are wrong, your job is simple. Bot them all, run around, sing a song, skip or dance or whatever. I don't care what dumb stuff you do with this. Not to, you, dumb stuff you add to this. Just make sure you catch every trap. Got it? Good. Spot is that the trap. Like a, is that a thing like uh, add-ons? Like a little thing to be on the add-ons? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Perfect. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
Not bad. Perfect. Yes. Whoop de doo, you did it. Was it perfect? No. Was I expecting it to be? If I'm being honest, no. I want the perfection, I've done it myself. Now, can we get on to my special place? Yes, and remember, really have a good time in there. Seems unlikely, for sure. You enter Trapper's secret cave, the water shimmers casting long shadows along the walls. Don't forget about the water. I'm now gonna make I'm now gonna take you somewhere I've only ever taken one other person. This is the most intimate thing I could do with another person that involves wearing clothes. Well, with clothes, but without murder. <laughs> Hope you appreciate the trust I'm putting in you now. Trapper walks to a barricade section of the cave, of the cave wall, starts ripping off secured boards, like they're popsicle sticks. Pretty hot, right? It's okay to admit it's hot. He's rich, sentient piece of marble, soaked in the blood of a soaked it. Wait, soaked. Soak it, in it. Soak it in, <laughs> like blood on a carpet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can read. Cannot read. <laughs> The tunnel's very important to me and my family. Would you like to see it now? Yes. Oh, the tunnel. It's the most exciting moment of my life. Calm down. Me, the trapper, is inviting you into a dark, sinister tunnel. You should be a little less eager. Don't be stupid. Stupid is a really big turnoff. But it doesn't matter. We're going in anyway. I have a lower opinion of you now. Prepare to enter a special mysterious tunnel. The secret, the secrets it must hold. The excitement is almost too much. Why'd you be like fucking nothing? <laughs> what the hell is this? Just an old mining cave. It's his. It's dirty, it's smelly, the rats are the size of wombats. Spending a single minute in here is five minutes too long, and Trapper obviously cannot be more proud of it. I didn't even know it could smell like that. Smile. This is where I feel most comfortable, and I'm finally willing to truly get real with you inside these walls. Will you do the same with me? Will you share something real? Maybe something about yourself you don't like to tell others? I'll do the same after. Take my advice, share something with him. So, what do you want to share with me? That. Yes. My darker secret is, is that I know everything about you, Evan McMillan. Everything. I know what turns you, turns you on. I know why you love this mining cave. I know what you did to the people you cared about. And I know what you did to those people who fall into your traps. And all of it turns me on. All of it. <laughs> Also, one time I accidentally set my neighbor's tree house on fire. The damage was extensive. Damn! And I thought I was weird. Maybe you should wear the mask, or better yet, don't wear anything at all. But patience is the best way to trap your prey. Besides, I owe you a dark secret too. My darkest secret is that I'd give it all up. The money, the power, even my physique. If I can go back in time and follow my heart. Once. A long time ago, I wanted nothing more than to be an artist, but my father refused. He was a harsh man who loved no one, only control. He did make me the man I am today, though, so was it worth it? So it was worth it, don't you think? Mm. Why can't you be an artist right now? You never told to try something new. No, it's too late. You'll see. Thing is, you can't become the most important person in my life without meeting the person who holds that position now. That's right. I brought you here to meet him, Crispy. This is my father. Holy hey. shit. Good grief. He's an emaciated old man clinging to life by the tiniest of threads. This is, this is the man, the myth, the legend behind the Macmillan fortune. What do you think of him? Ugh, that's one. You okay? Uh, you okay, sir? <laughs> I don't know. Do I look okay, you idiot? Help me, damn it! I've been trapped here for so very long. Right. I've been here a long time. Or has it been forever? My dad isn't as strong as he once was, physically or mentally. I keep him here for his own protection. It's for his own good, you believe me, right? Yeah, sure. He is a psychopath, so. Mm-hmm. Of course I believe you, you're an honest person. No, not always, but the truth is... I don't know what the truth is. I don't know why I keep him here. It does keep him safe, but I'm exactly feeding him or taking care of him. I love my father, truly. He made me who I am. He taught me how to be strong and ruthless in a world that only rewards power. 
There's only one thing I feel strongly, I feel more strongly than my love for him, and that is my hate for him. And I hate him exactly because he made me who I am. That's why I keep him hidden from my many enemies who have long waited to exact revenge on him. That's also why I keep him like this, tortured and living in darkness. He's both a testament to my power and the living corpse who refused to die on his own and free me of his, of his grip. He's still alive for now, though. <laughs> so I want to hear what he thinks of you. I need to see if he finds you worthy of the Macmillan name and legacy. His mind is fractured, but he retains enough of it to judge people. This is your final test. Are you ready? Wait, don't answer that. You don't have a choice. Actually, you know what? That's not fair. And considering what you're about to do is really difficult, I want to be fair. So before my father asks you some questions, I'm going to let you ask him some questions. You should really have an idea of who he is before I put your life in his hands. I mean, our relationship in his hands. <laughs> ah, screw it. You must realize by now your life has been in danger every second you've been with me. If you haven't, well, shit, you're not very smart. Anyway, go ahead. You've only got three questions, though, so make them count. What do you want to ask my father first? Where are you from? I wouldn't spit on you, let alone answer that. Next question. <laughs> I'm going to be scum. What was your mom like? How dare you ask me that, worm? Is there anything I do to, to make you like me, sir? You sound like a maggot. No more questions from you. Oh, well, that was fun to watch. On this island, we like to call that full Father McMillian experience. I hope this was illuminating for you as it was meant to be. It was necessary, though. Trust me. Still, I would like to apologize. Usually, my father is much meaner. He must be going soft. Maybe he's just saving his best, most honest self for his, for his questions. Hey, Dad, it's your turn. You can ask Crispy anything you want. Now, Crispy... Answer right, and we can take things to the next level. Answer wrong, and uh, well, just answer right. Go ahead, Father. Did you ever let someone stand in the way, in the way of what you want? No. No. Good answer. What do you truly? What do you truly want from my son? Crime. Oh, crime. You mean that literally or metaphorically? Literally. Good answer. Uh, would you ever hurt my son, physically or emotionally? Answer that question! Would you ever hurt my son? No. Is that because you're a damn fool or a coward? Those aren't very fair options. Do you just use the word fair with me? I marked this down as fool. But a fool can still be useful for a time. What I want to know is whether you're a coward. Are you? No. Not a coward, you jerk. Good answer. Maybe you're not a complete fool. Now, the final moment. Final most important question. Do you want to hear an embarrassing stories about my son as a baby? Before you can say yes, trap her book into a rage. No, damn you, father! Turning me into a monster wasn't bad enough! <laughs> you have to embarrass me too? Back in the darkness you go! <laughs> no, I don't like the dark. It's cold and the rats have started to unionize. <laughs> I have a giant surprise for you. When you get back. Huge. Now that he's gone, what do you want to do while you wait? Look around. Oh, give me the fucking coin! <laughs> Look around, you find the gold coin. Better save that for later in case you want to buy something in this tunnel, I guess. Trapper returns, but he stands in shadows where you can't really see him. I hope you're ready for your girl, can't you? And surprise! Oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> wow, that that is definitely the smallest speedo he can possibly pull off without us getting an adults-only rating. <laughs> then again, if you're really not an adult, why are you playing this game? You should probably say something. What do you want to say? <laughs> Let's do tiny this. Little penis. <laughs> tiny little penis! Tiny little penis! Finally, why do you think I put up for three days of tedious bullshit for this moment? It's go time! Oh. Trapper turns out all the lamps. Unfortunately for you, legally we're not allowed to describe the noises that are produced in this cave <laughs> over a period of time that can be best explained as uncomfortably long. <laughs> and we definitely can't show any of it. People would go blind. Voluntarily. <laughs> Not pooped so hard, we woke up in an entirely different part of my private cave system. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Obviously, it was great for you, right? <laughs> Yikes. Yep. The best. Hell yeah. <laughs> Trapper. Crispy. The time has come. Return to the beach. You have no idea how close I am to killing both of you. And luckily, I'm in a very good mood. Damn, this is it. Oh, shit. Here we go. We fucked Trapper. <laughs> Let's go. 
Welcome back to where it all started. It's time to find out how Tra Trapper really feels about you. Uh-oh. The fact that he's back to his normal bathing suit doesn't seem like a good sign. Also, when the hell do you have time to put it back on? Didn't you walk over with him? Jeez, we must really be at the end. Ah, oh, shit, he looks... Non plus? Non plussed? Look, I'll be honest. I've been trying to kill you for three days. I set up countless traps, both literal and metaphorical, looking for a reason or a way to make you end up as a disembodied head that someone accidentally digs up on the beach. Ah! Uh, uh, that happened in the beginning. I see. Hey, that creepy face in the beginning makes a little more sense now, at least. But you avoided all of them. Kudos. Sincerely, it wasn't easy. You're pretty smart. Well, minus the part where you could have had a much easier time with literally anyone else. Seriously, those three maggots are having way more fun on this island. I promise that's what everyone will be saying on the message boards. <laughs> also, I can't believe you agreed to bone without knowing <laughs> if I actually liked you. Have you ever seen the final few episodes of basically any dating competition show? Uh, not that I watch dating competition <laughs> shows. Anyway, the bad news is that I'm really just not that into you that way. That every single killer rejects you, by the way. Uh, yeah. The good news is that I have no desire to kill you, which is amazing. Not just for you, but for me. I rarely feel this way. That's why I think we'd be better off as friends. I haven't had a friend in a very long time. And my last friends betrayed me. That's why I hate friends. So technically, I hate you too. Even if I don't hate you enough to kill you. I know, it's weird. But shit, look around you. What else did you expect? <laughs> this whole thing puts me in an awkward spot. I technically hate you, but not really. And definitely not enough to kill you. I guess there's only thing one, le uh, one left thing to do. The same thing I do to everyone I don't want to kill. That means you get to live. Forever in that tunnel with my dad. Hold up your dad, the torture old man you've kept in prison? Uh, I don't want to. It's not so bad. No, wait. That's not true. It's awful. Mm. This whole thing seems sort of unfair, doesn't it? And a maybe anticlimactic? Well, doesn't matter. I made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. My advice is you just try to be the be just try to make the best of it. Developing a taste for rat meat will go a long way toward doing so. Okay, enjoy the darkness and my piece of shit father. Oh, hey, please. Be cool if I bring any dates over. Damn. The break, Crispy. You really get close to everything. Now you spend the rest of eternity getting close to Trapper's dad. He, bi he bites worse than the rats. That's not fair, but it's true, I do. But maybe with an infinite amount of time, you'll learn to like each other. We won't. At least, at the very least, that should be long enough to find out what really happened to his wife. Don't you dare speak of her. Meanwhile, I'm heading to the other island with all the much more famous killers. I'd tell you how to get there, but, you know, you live in a tunnel now. But thanks for playing, and sorry for everything, especially your life choices. Amazing. Friends forever. And so my precious killers lived happily ever after. As they should, learning to love themselves first and foremost. Whilst trapped in a never-ending cycle of torture of my design. Wait, did I just spoil my true identity? You've made it this far. You should probably know that. But you'll have to play again to find out more. Goodbye, Crispy. See you again later, and again, and again. Forever. The end. One down. Look, it's the token. I wonder what the tokens get you. Dee, 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 dee. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Yay! We did the thing! That was rough doing trapper voice for like three yeah. hours. <laughs> you know, you good. I'm dying. <laughs> Uh, I could have probably done narrator for a little while so that you could have rested your voice. That's okay. <laughs> that was fun. That was cool. So, narrator, observer, ocean, entity. Yeah, and of course, the 
just suck the dread out of you, so there is no happy endings ever. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Stella said that after all, after everything, Huntress rejected her too. So I'm, I'm assuming they all get rejected. Hmm. And you just end there for end up there forever. And I'll probably just go through this like fast forward through a lot, mm -hmm. like uh, to get the other endings. Yeah. But that was fun. That was good fun. <laughs> I like all the fourth wall breaks and. The, the humor was fucking great. Mm -hmm. Also, just it looked great. They did a really yeah. good job, even if the, though it was anime. like, yeah, even though it was the still images. I do, I liked it a lot. Also, um, what did we think we learned a little bit about? So there's two islands. Two islands. One is clearly the, like he called it IP IP, IP island. island. <laughs> but uh, I think I think it is like torture island. That's where the fog is, and you know the other survivors and stuff like that. Um, well, if you I think about it, fun. the icons on your desktop are like islands. So to get there, you just click. Right, right, right. Got you, got you. And then... Yeah. I think part of part of it, too, like how we guessed during the game, where, like, you were resting, but the killers went to go mm -hmm. kill on the other island. I liked the whole thing of... Um, Claudette and Dwight, they were like... they were. It sounded like they were fucking, yeah. but they were actually trying to kill each other. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> yeah, they clipped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part of the stream. You know, it was wild because I wasn't even, like, I, like, looked away for a second and then one of the kids came over or whatever. I looked away and all of a sudden Rachel was like, what are you reading? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> so that was good. And I liked, um, I kind of liked Trickster kind of coming in and out. Very much like a Loki character, you know, who's, like, not really a part of anything, but is there to just be weird. I wonder if he would have, like, if it had given you the option to drink the coffee, if it would have killed you. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can die. I think you just keep doing it over. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, in the same way that he, like, uh, like auto-killed you yeah. in the beginning, if that would have happened. And we've been like, see, I told you not well, to. If I play the other ones, maybe, maybe we'll get more clues from Wraith mm. and Trickster about going over there. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we should date. Oh, I mean, could you imagine yeah. if we dated? <laughs> we should date. I, so is Wait, there... what is this? Oh, I can link? Oh, to get the charms. Oh, I see, I see. To get that. Oh, look, 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 yeah. The trapper with the with the little uh, bear claw he gave you. Let nice. me see the clip. I want to see the clip. Oh, God. <laughs> just you yelling, oh, yeah? Is that what it is? Yeah. It's the whole thing. <laughs> it's just Stick it in there. Yeah. A little more. A little <laughs> more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Stick it in there! A little more! A little more! <laughs> yeah! That's it! Yes! <laughs> Stick it in there! A little more! A little oh more! My God. Yeah! That's it! Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. I gotta I apparently have to make that a redeem sound. Oh my gosh, just <laughs> it's close. Oh, yeah. Going, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That was uh, my that was my Morty voice. It's so good. Uh he showed up. He looked like fucking Morty. Uh, but I feel like it's appropriate, right? Because they call him Dwitch. Or fucking the, the Dwitch, one. man. Yeah. Yeah. You like I feel like you want to feel bad for, for Dwight, but then he just keeps being a fuck up. You're like, bruh, you're doing this to yourself. I could just keep going through. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Nice. The best redeem ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make it super cheap, too. Yeah. Oh, God. They're just going to be spamming. Yeah, oh, yeah. Spam it. What's the cheapest one? Daddy Chill. 